So you're thinking about moving to Richmond, Virginia. Today I'm going to take you around the city of Richmond and I'm going to show you a few different neighborhoods at a few different price points so you can see what fits in your budget. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you one of the best kept secrets about Richmond, Virginia and we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time in the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Richmond, Virginia and the surrounding counties of Hanover, Henrico, Chesterfield, New Kent, Goochland, and Powhatan, then subscribe below and click the notifications bell so you can be the first to know about everything that's going on in Richmond, Virginia. My name is Scott Durnley with Joiner Fine Properties. My team and I get calls from people like you every single day looking for help making their move to Richmond, Virginia. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All that information is right below and we can help you make a smooth move to Richmond, Virginia. We are kicking off today's tour of Richmond, Virginia neighborhoods in beautiful Bird Park. The park has beautiful rolling hills. It's got tree shaded lawns. It's got three lakes. Uh, we have tennis courts, ball fields, really a lot of cool stuff to do here at the park. And what you see behind me is the Carillon. This is a World War I memorial and it's really a Richmond fixture. Um, in this lawn area that's here in front of the Carillon, there's things happen like wedding receptions, corporate meetings, and then you have the Dogwood Dell. On uh, warm summer nights, the Dell has concerts and plays. So Richmond, uh, the Bird Park here is really a neat feature, a great place to start out our neighborhood tour. Now we're going to get in the car and go take a look at some homes. Come on with me. All right, we're here at our first stop on our Richmond neighborhood tour and we are in the Churchill area. This tour I'm going to do a little bit different than other neighborhood tours. Other ones I've gone and I've done it by price. We've gone to the lowest price and a middle price and a higher price. The tour today I'm going to be doing a little bit more by geography. So with that said, a little geography of Richmond. Um, the James River splits Richmond essentially in half. On the north side of the James, we have three MLS districts, which are MLS areas 10, 20, and 30. South of the James, we have MLS areas 50 and 60. Um, so today we are going to concentrate mainly on areas 10 and 20, uh, which I would say are the most popular of the five MLS areas in the city of Richmond. And we're going to be starting east, and then we're going to be moving west. So Churchill is a neighborhood just east of downtown Richmond. Um, it's well known for Chimbrazo Park, which has America's oldest Civil War um, museum. Actually, it's um, America's oldest uh, and largest um, Civil War area hospital. And we also have St. John's Episcopal Church. That is known for Patrick Henry's Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech. So that's where we're starting out. We're going to come up on this first house here in a moment. All right, we are getting there to the first home. It's this beautiful blue one right behind me. Uh, this, like much of Churchill, this was built in the early 1900s. Um, this one was built in 1925. It's checking in at a very respectable um, 3,800 square feet. It's got six bedrooms and three and a half baths. Currently the list price is right at 700000 700, and that is bringing it in at um, a pretty respectable for the city, $183 per square foot. So that's it for our first look at Churchill. Now we're going to take a roll around the neighborhood and show you some of the other sites in Churchill and then we'll move on into the fan area. Right, we started our neighborhood tour in Church Hill, and now we are in the Fan. Like Church Hill is on the east side of downtown Richmond, the Fan is just on the west side. 
I'd say the fan starts west of the boulevard, I'm sorry, west of Belvedere, and goes out west and stops at the boulevard. So the fan, how did it get its name? That's kind of an interesting name. Uh, right down at VCU, which is part of the fan, a very integral part of the fan, you have the Monroe Park. The streets there fan out in a V-shaped headed west. So that V-shaped um, configuration of roads gave its nickname, the fan. So um, fan is a great, great neighborhood. Um, folks can, uh, actually the very first house I bought in Richmond in the 1990s was in the fan, uh, only about blocks from where we are right now. Uh, you can literally park your car on the weekend and a uh, big truck just went by and you'll never have to get out, you'll never have to get back in your car because you can walk to shops, you can walk to restaurants. Um, it's a very food centric area. Some of the best restaurants in Richmond are in the fan. Um, behind me, a couple blocks, is Monument Avenue, which had some monuments to Confederate generals, which were recently taken down. And that was sort of a bit of a contentious thing here in Richmond. Some people were for it, some people were against it. But that's not something we're going to debate today. But, uh, you know, Richmond was the capital of the Confederacy, so it is rich with um, Civil War history. Um, so that's just a fact, it's just part of history. So behind me is our second house that we're taking a peek at here in the fan. This one was built in 1907. It was just renovated in 2022. It's listed for $915,000 and is at 2,650 square feet. So that's checking in at right at $346 a square foot. Um, it's got um, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. So it is really gorgeous inside. And again, the fan is just a really fun place to live and play. Uh, great location, um, close to downtown, just west of it. So as always, we're gonna take a spin around the fan, show you some more houses in the neighborhood, and then we're gonna head on to the museum district next. All right, we are now in the museum district, our third stop on our tour of houses in Richmond, Virginia. The museum district, I say, is sort of an extension of the fan. It's to me the fan once you go west of the boulevard, and then it would end uh, on its west, on its farther western boundary of 195. Uh, museum district, how did it get its name? Well, right on the west side of the boulevard, we have six blocks of museums. Uh, I would say our two um, uh, flagship museums are the Virginia Museum of Fine Art and the Virginia Museum of Culture and History. Uh, those are just amazing museums as are the other ones, uh, but those are fantastic. Uh, so again, the Museum District, a great place to live, lots of shops, lots of restaurants, very walkable neighborhood. We are coming up here in front of our third home for sale. This one is checking in at $450,000. It's about 1,628 square feet, built in 1925. A lot of these houses are built at that sort of turn of the century uh, time frame uh, or shortly thereafter. Uh, that's about $276 a square foot. We've got three bedrooms, one full and two half baths. Sometimes in, the, in these older homes, you just don't get a ton of full baths, but you know, that's one of the things uh, to live in the city. That's sort of one of the trade-offs. So as always, we are going to take a spin around the museum district, show you some more houses, and it's gonna look a lot like the, the tour of the fan, because again, these are very similar homes. We're just a little farther west here in the museum district. All right, let's go take a peek.
right, we are coming up to our last stop on our Richmond, Virginia home tour. We keep pushing west. Now what we're in what I'm gonna call the near west end, and we've gone into MLS area 20. Um, so I would say the near west end, again, starts sort of at the end of the museum district once you cross over 195 and you keep going west. Uh, I ran an MLS search yesterday uh, for area 20. There were a whopping 12 homes on the market. Yeah, just 12. That's a pretty tight inventory. And they averaged $865,000 and um, right at $350 per square foot. So area 20, I would say, is by far the highest dollar per square foot um, area in Richmond. So. But one thing you're going to see as we get into, we start going a little west, you're seeing something called grass uh, in Church Hill, in uh, the fan, in the museum district. We really had sort of more of the attached or some, or you know, slightly detached row houses. There was not a lot of yard. Here we're starting to get a little bit more of a you know traditional neighborhood feel. We're getting some grass, we're getting some backyards, some fenced in backyards. And so that's appealing to a lot of folks that just want a little bit more green space. So right now we are coming up on this beautiful home that is for sale. Um, again, like most of the homes, this one was built, I can't remember the exact year, but we're talking early 1900s. We're right at 1,700 square feet and listed for $750,000. That's checking in at $440 per square foot. Now it has been nicely renovated, um, but we are even over the average square foot for area 20 with this house, but it's quite nice. Get a very classic look, classic architecture, you know, brick home. Uh, again, it's been nicely renovated, so it is very pretty inside. And we're starting to get some of the, you know, some of the yard, which is very nice. So that's it for this one. And as usual, I'm going to start. I'm going to drive around and show you some homes in the near west end. And just you know, notice that when we tour these houses, you're going to see some beautiful green grass. Um, all right, we're going to hop in the car and take a look. All right, we are wrapping up today's neighborhood tour of Richmond, Virginia. I hope you enjoyed it. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned I'd share with you one of the best kept secrets about Richmond, Virginia. That brings me here to Maymont. Uh, Maymont is a really special place. It's a, a hundred acre estate with a Victorian mansion. Uh, this was built in 1893 by James Dooley and his wife, Sally. Uh, it was upon their death, it was gifted to the city of Richmond and now is used for uh, entertainment by city residents year round. So it was just a beautiful gift by the family to the city. And uh, in addition to the um, estate, there's, uh, like I said, there's a hundred acres of grounds. Um, let's see, there is a museum, an arboretum, formal gardens, a carriage collection, native wildlife exhibits a native a um let's see a nature center and a children's farm uh really cool stuff here and um, again i hope you did enjoy today's tour and whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days give us a call shoot us a text send us an email all in the description below and until then i hope to see you around town